Welcome back to another video. I am Vortilify, and today I am going to be ranking on a tier list every single starter Pokemon. I want to get to this really quick because I don't want this video to be too extended and long. I already recorded this video once and I had to stop recording on accident. So I have to redo the whole thing. It is annoying, but I'm going to do it anyways. And this is... Every starter Pokemon ranked. Starting off with the Gen 1 starters, we're going to start off with Charmander, and he's going to get Legendary. The reason why I'm giving Charmander Legendary is because he is really, really cool. But he's not cool enough to get to Mythic. His evolution Charmander, or er, er, uh, Charizard, is really overrated. Shiny is really cool, though. And that's why I'm just going to keep it to Legendary. Moving on to Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is going to get Mythic. And really the only reason for that is because he is my favorite starter from Gen 1. And he is pretty strong too. He has a good shiny. And that's pretty much why he is Mythic. Then to Squirtle. He's going to get another Legendary. Well, I do like Blastoise. His Mega's cool, and Squirtle is a cute Pokemon. I just don't think he has that wow factor that can boost him up to Mythic. Moving on to the Gen 2 starters. I'm going to start off with Totodile, my favorite out of the three, and he's going to get Mythic. A lot of Pokemon are going to be getting Mythic in this specific tier list because a lot of starters are great. Totodile is very, very unique, and he has those red spikes along his back. He's bright blue, and he's just cute. Freligator as well, his final evolution, is very strong, and I used him in my Pokemon Crystal playthrough, and he sweeped through teams. And I think he is a really good pick for another Mythic spot. Moving on to Chikorita. Unfortunately, I'm going to give Chikorita Uncommon. The reason why I'm giving Chikorita Uncommon is, well, yes, cute, and Bayleaf and her Meganium are really good Pokemon as well, and they're strong. I just don't like them too much. They're really, really gross yellow-green color, and I just don't like Chikorita. Shiny's not good at all. And I think it's probably the least strong out of the three starters of Johto, so... I'm sorry, Chikorita, but you're being an uncommon. Cyndaquil, I'm going to put at Epic. And a lot of people may disagree with me on this because he's just not the greatest. I think Cyndaquil is cute, but he doesn't have that wow factor that it needs to be boosted up to Legendary or Mythic. His shinies was good in Gen 2, but now in future generations, it's not really good at all. So that is something that really really sucks, and I don't think it deserves any higher, but it definitely shouldn't go any lower than that. Moving on to Gen 3, my favorite generation of all time, and the reason for that is it has good Pokemon, a good experience, and overall it's really fun. I don't think any Gen could pull off what Gen 3 did, but let's get to ranking the starters. Starting off with Trico, if you don't know, he's my favorite starter of all of them, so he's definitely going straight to Mythic. There's no really explanation for this. He's just the best starter ever. I choose him when I play Gen 3. He's just that good. Sceptile is insane. His shiny is amazing. He's got that blue with the red tail. And I think that Trico should be in Mythic. I hope you guys agree with me. Moving on to Torchic. I think Torchic is going to get legendary. Well, Torchic is a good Pokemon, and its final evolution, Blaziken, is really powerful, especially with its added Mega Evolution in Auras. I just don't think it should be in Mythic, because it doesn't have that special feature, or special capability of being in Mythic. It doesn't stand out as much as any other starter. It's really just an orange chicken, and I don't get what's so special about it. Moving on to Mudkip, we're going to give him Mythic. 
pretty much the only reason he is in Mythic, because I don't really like him that much, is because his evolution has ground type. You know how insane that is? Especially when he mega evolves. That is insane. He resists electric. One of his most formidable enemies now cannot touch him. That is insane. Moving on to the Gen 4 starters. I'm going to start off with Chimchar, and Chimchar is going straight down to rare. He is ugly. I don't really like him. Well, he is kind of cute. That's really the only reason I'm putting him up to rare, and he is strong. I don't really like Chimchar, and he's kind of stupid. I don't know if I should say that, but he is. He's not the best. Moving on to Piplup, Piplup is going to Mythic. He is adorable. I love Piplup so much in his final evolution, Empoleon just looks formidable. I would definitely choose that in any playthrough I did, so that's why I'm putting him at Mythic. Moving on to Turtwig, Turtwig is also going to get Mythic. There are going to be a lot of Mythics on this list, I'm not going to lie. Turtwig is so adorable. He's the cutest little turtle Pokemon ever. I'm sorry, Squirtle, but yes, he is a cuter turtle than you. And his final evolution is insane. He looks amazing, and I definitely, definitely think he should be mythic. And we are going to be moving on to the Gen 5 starters. Sorry, we are kind of moving through this video really, really, really quickly. And I'm sorry about that, but I'm trying to go fast, but I'm also trying to keep it a little bit slow so it's not too rushed. Moving on to our Gen 5 starters, our good old PAL 5s. We are going to be starting off with Snivy, and Snivy I'm going to be putting at Epic. While it is my favorite out of the Gen 5 starters, it is not that good, and... It is not, yeah, that's all I can say. It's not that good. Going on to Tepig. Tepig is going to go to Common. He is cute, but his final evolution sucks. It is literally the worst starter ever. Ever. Th that's all I can say. Then moving on to Oshawott, he is going to go down to rare. I'm putting Oshawott as rare because he's cute, and his final evolution, Samurott, is amazing. He's just not good. Gen 5 starters are the worst starters, I would say, out of all of them. I don't really have an appeal to them. Maybe you guys do. Let me know in the comments. Moving into Gen 6 starters, we have some of my favorite starters out of all of them, except for Chespin. Chespin, you're going to Uncommon, buddy. You suck. Your evolution Quilladin sucks. Chestnut sucks. Your whole evolutionary line just sucks. So, yeah, you're just going to sit out Uncommon this whole video. Now, we're going to do Fennekin. Fennekin is going to go to Epic. It is cute, but what's refraining it from going to Legendary or Mythic is Brakeson. It's okay, but Delphox? Really? Delphox? It kind of sucks. You're, you can't lie. Delphox really kind of sucks. But Froakie is going to be Mythic. The reason I'm giving Froakie Mythic is because he's insane. His evolution Frogadier is absolutely outstanding. Greninja is insane. And their shinies, oh my goodness gracious. Their shinies are the most beautiful things you will ever see. They're some of the best starters ever. And I don't think any starter can beat that. Moving on to Gen 7. We got Litten, which is gonna go to Epic. I think it's a good starter, but it's not the best. 
And I don't think that anything can save it. It's shiny's good, but it's really not the greatest. Incineroar is pretty cool, but I hate it now because they gave Darkest Lariat to other Pokemon in Gen 8, which kind of sucks. So yeah. <laughs> Moving on to Rowlet, Rowlet is going to get Mythic because he's my favorite. He's my favorite starter out of Gen 7, and nothing can really change that. I did choose Litten in my Ultra Sun playthrough, but I still like Rowlet more. And Poplio, common. Just, just, just common. Moving on to Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Yes, I am counting those. Let's start off with Eevee. Eevee is mythic. It's just beautiful. And it's exclusive moves, tutor moves in that game, are outstanding. Eevee is cute, Eevee is strong, Eevee is beautiful. Now Pikachu! Pikachu! You are common. You are an overrated yellow piece of trash that looks like an iPhone 2 emoji that is extremely outdated and is dumb, stupid, and weak. So you go to common. <sighs> okay. Now, finally, we're going to be moving to Gen 8. Gen 8 has really not great... Pokemon as their starters. Scorbunny is my favorite, so he's gonna go to legendary, but Grookey and Sobble are gonna sit down at rare because Gen 8 didn't really come up with that creative of shinies for their Pokemon. They didn't create creative Pokemon as well, and I don't think they should go anywhere other than that. Anyways, guys, that is it for the tier list. I hope you do enjoy. And I will see you guys, hopefully, in the next video. I'll see you guys. Goodbye.